Oh yeah, this is why I love San Diego, right here. Not even windy, the sun's just making me tan. Oh, the sun's right on my face, how's it look? We had IHOP for breakfast, and I had way too much sugar in my system. That's what my shadow looks like. So just imagine the stares you get when that's what your shadow looks like. That means people are looking at you because you're holding this thing and you're talking to them. But who really cares about anybody else, you know? You gotta worry about yourself first. I hope this is the weather the rest of the time we're here. I had the idea to do this vlogging thing way before I ever knew what vlogging was, but I had the idea to carry around a camera and just video everything that I do. And then I came across Casey Neistat when I was looking for a drone. Then I realized I was really late on the trend. Oh well, I'm still gonna do it just for the heck of it, because why not? This is what I wanted to do originally, and then I found out a whole bunch of people do it. And there's a whole people that built their careers based on doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Check out this seagull. I really wish I could fly my drone. You hear that helicopter? There's a Navy airport over there. So they have all the no-fly zones and restricted zones that you're not allowed to fly in and DJI drones won't even take off. I have no idea what else we're gonna do, but I wanna ride my one wheel. That's what I know. Off to my grandma's. Crystal's right behind me. She wants a video. So I'm out carving in the middle of the road, you know? Just for the heck of it, because I can. Some Pomeranians are barking at me right now. I think the next closest one wheel rides, I'm going. I think the closest ones are in like San Francisco, Santa Cruz area. It'd be fun to get around with a bunch of people who have these things and just go explore. We saw blue skies earlier, but now it's kind of cloudy out. The sun went away. I don't have a key though. I'm going with Gigi. Bye. 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 You gonna win? Of course I win. <laughs> She's a gangster. <laughs> I want to have an interview with you. No, about you the don't. Philippines. No, you don't. About the Philippines. About the, uh, forget it, baby. Why? It's been uh, 47 years. 47 before. years? That's yes. it. Back at the condo now. Just to grab my cameras and then we're gonna go on an adventure. Crystal's feeling like a winner today. Oh, she's feeling like a winner. Mm. Yeah, you took too long. You took too long. Well, it's only a $5? Oh, come on. I'm not rich like you are. No La Jolla because it was raining. It started raining as soon as we got on I-5 to go that way. What can you do? Can't tell Mother Nature to stop because she don't listen. Where are we? Where are we? We're at the beach. Nice. Say hi to YouTube. We're walking all the way to the pier from here to over there. Tonight's the last night in the condo, then we're staying in my grandma's. It's the last time we were right there at that one at the tip of my finger. We made it all the way to the pier. Oh, we caught up to somebody. Or maybe she caught up to us. Now we're past the pier. Yeah, and one time when I used to live down here for a couple months and I never successfully made it. That's why I live in crappy Reading. But I used to walk out here every single day. One day, I will live on a beach and I will own a beach house, like a house on the beach. I promised myself that. I'm on the road. Could be by the end of this year, you never know. You never know until you know, you know? Back on the one wheel. Just gonna go cruise, you know? Try to do a loop I've never done before. Last night in the condo. Last night sleeping on the beach. 
I don't know when I'll be back here. I said that last time when we were back here soon. I don't want to be back here for the same reasons. Had two family members die. I've never had a family member that I've been close to die. First, obviously, you guys know that my mom. And then my mom's dad, my grandpa. I wish I had enough money to own a hotel like this. Because this hotel is right on the beach and it's super nice. The thing about when someone passes away, you always get that question of like, what am I doing with my life? And maybe that'll push people to do more serious things like work hard at a job that they're at, or maybe it'll make someone quit their job and go work for somebody else or do something else. But my mom worked really hard and she never took all the vacations she, she wanted to take. I came across a post she shared right before my son was born that said, money will always come, but memories won't ever come. You gotta create your own memories. It, it was along those lines. She tagged us in that and that memory came up on Facebook. That's some real stuff right there. I may never have the chance to spend this time with my kids or do things like this. And maybe I'm not the best parent, but I know that I'm doing good enough. I don't ask anybody for help. I figure it out. Life goes on. I don't care really who believes in me and who believes in what I do because I believe in myself and that's all that matters. I believe that life is gonna take care of me regardless and then one day I'm gonna die. That's it, you know? And maybe I haven't been through everything, but the people I do listen to are people that are places that I wanna be. That comes from podcasts and books. I take a lot of time to understand why I think the way that I think and the way that my mind works. And I put my work in in different areas and maybe it's not as good as somebody else but it's better than somebody else and it's better than i was yesterday so regardless if you see that or not i don't really care when my mom died i decided that i'm gonna live this life the way that i want to live it and i'm not gonna take anybody's advice that's not gonna help me or believe in me at the end of the day i don't need anybody else's belief besides my own belief now if i believe i can do something with my life then i'm gonna go for it and you should too honestly why well, conform to the image that life has get given us when there's other people that are living the dream and something they saw in their mind and decided to be different than everyone else and didn't listen to everybody who told them no and just went and did it. Why not just go and do it? Because who cares about everyone else? Who cares of what someone thinks about you? Who cares if someone thinks you're doing the wrong thing? It doesn't really matter. You just do what you gotta do to survive, that's it. You do what you gotta do. Money's just a tool, it's not life. Money comes and goes. Most of the time it goes faster than it comes. No one in life will give a crap the way that you could give a crap. There's something in you that you care more about than somebody else, than anybody else. You know what I care about more than anybody else? I care about people following their dreams and actually doing the things that they want to do. We have one life that I just want people to follow their dreams. That's it. Follow your dreams. And with that, like, share, subscribe. Have a good night, have a good day, have a good whatever, whenever you guys watch this. Good luck with what you do. Peace out.